What are you drinking? Zima. Zima. What is that? Beer? No, it's not like beer, you see? No zuds. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 alcohol brands that don't exist anymore. Bacardi Breezer, a seriously refreshing alternative. For this list, we'll be ranking the boozy brands that have either gone defunct or are not as widely available as they were in their heyday. Do you miss any of these drinks? First round's on us. Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Bud Ice Light. There have been a number of Budweiser products that have gone the way of the dodo over the years. Budweiser malt liquor didn't survive the 70s and Bud Dry was discontinued in 2000. Try Bud Dry. It's dry brew, not watered down. To drink light yet satisfy completely. In fact, refreshment like this is almost... The company's attempt at an IPA, Budweiser American Ale, disappeared in 2015. However, Bud Ice, which debuted in 1993, was a fairly popular brand that still exists today. Drink Bud Ice, but uh, beware of the penguins. The light variant of Bud Ice, however, not so much. Turns out that Bud drinkers appreciated the extra alcohol content in original Bud Ice, but balked at its less filling alternative. Get real cold with icy smooth Bud Ice and new 96 calorie Bud Ice Light. It left store shelves in 2010. Number nine, Bacardi Breezer. The Bacardi Breezer possesses a complicated release history with some variants becoming discontinued while other countries still stock some manifestation of the beverage. <laughs> These fruit-flavored rum drinks are known as Alco Pops in some countries and have enjoyed major popularity around the world. The original run of Bacardi Breezers thrived in the UK throughout the 90s and beyond, but eventually fell out of favor and were discontinued in 2015. New Bacardi Breezer. A splash of Bacardi rum, a touch of sparkle, and three outrageous flavors. Customers in Canada, Israel, and India can still source the OG versions of these drinks, while a new iteration from Bacardi titled Breezer Spritz returned to the UK in 2019. Number 8. White Lightning We're sticking with the UK for our next entry, a strong and pungent cider by the name of White Lightning. Apple was the primary flavor profile behind White Lightning, but the real reason it initially became successful was its high alcohol content and comparatively affordable price tag. What so smell I'm picking up is 14-year-olds drinking behind a car park. <laughs> As a result, White Lightning quickly became negatively associated with alcohol use disorder and underage drinking, and it was discontinued by the Heineken Group at the end of 2009. However, 2021 did see a spiritual relaunch of sorts with the Inches Cider brand, named for White Lightning's original manufacturer. So go big on the little things. That's when you can taste it. Extra love, extra care. For a perfect cider, go the extra inches. This new version isn't nearly as cheap, though, nor does it possess the same punch. Number 7. Aftershock Thermal Bite Was there anything as capital and 90s as Aftershock Liqueur? This garishly colored stuff was heartburn in a bottle, yet its sugary flavoring and wicked alcohol content helped make it the party drink du jour. All gross things must come to an end, however, including Aftershock's Thermal Bite. This mint-flavored drink basically tasted like mouthwash, but it could get you wrecked in an instant if you were willing to suffer the sharp bite and punishing aftertaste. Today, the Aftershock brand lives on, but Thermal Bite was given the axe in 2009, and we're honestly not sorry to see it gone. Number 6. Billy Beer We're not sure if the siblings of any modern American president would want to market a beer today, but we'd sure like to see one try. Billy Beer was a blink-and-you-miss collaboration between President Jimmy Carter's brother Billy and the Falls City Brewing Company. The lager was brewed up in the summer of 1977 and discontinued before 1978 had come to a close. Interesting in finding out what it tasted like, that's what they said about this Billy Beer, Smarty Pants. Uh, we elected the wrong Carter. Unopened cans of Billy Beer have been known to pop up on sites like eBay, but we definitely don't think ingesting it would be a good idea. I remember this. This right. was during the uh, Carter administration. Yeah, yeah. There's a this can of Billy Beer. Billy Beer. Number five, Tequiza. Introduced in 1997, Tequiza was Anheuser-Busch's attempt at grabbing a bit of the popular Mexican lager market cornered by other beers like Corona. But this, this is good. However, this tequila, lime, and agave-flavored beer never really seemed to connect with American consumers. Those customers probably would have just rather enjoyed a real slice of lime with their Corona or tequila, but hey, what do we know? Anheuser-Busch tried to support Tequiza for over a decade before their Bud Light Lime brand finally gave them the success they'd been seeking. Introducing Bud Light Lime, the superior drinkability of Bud Light, with a splash of 100% natural lime flavor. Number 4. 
Miller Chill. Speaking of Bud Light Lime, who remembers the Lime Beer Wars of the late 2000s? Miller Chill. Light beer brewed with a hint of lime and salt. Taste the thrill. Miller Chill was first out the gate in 2007 with their salted lime lager, but its retail success was quickly overtaken by its competitor Bud Light Lime. The reason? Well, for many, Budweiser's lime beer simply tasted better. Inspired by a Mexican recipe, it's Beer Vesa, brewed for a new level of refreshment. Miller Chill was discontinued in the mid-2010s, but if you're heading down under, the brand is actually still available in Australia. Might not be worth planning a trip for, but hey, if you're already there, why not? It's muy refreshing. Number three, Sky Blue. Sky Blue is another marketing failure for the Miller Brewing Company, a malt alcoholic beverage with a packaging that mirrored that of the successful Sky Blue vodka brand. This variant, however, didn't take, despite an aggressive ad campaign that tried to make Sky Blue the hip and cool new drink for the 20-something set. The beer and liquor buying public simply weren't interested in a citrusy malt beverage back in the early 90s. But if there are any Sky Blue fanatics out there, we have good news, it's still available in Mexico. Number two, Zima. A lot of things come up when one watches a nostalgic retrospective about the 1990s. Tamagotchis, frosted tips, Bill Clinton playing the saxophone. Oh, and Zima, lots of Zima. What is this? I don't know. Just do you know. Don't you see? Zima's a unique alcohol beverage. I kinda like it. This was a citrus-flavored cooler somewhat similar to Smirnoff Ice that marketed itself as the drink of choice for people who don't like beer. Do you guys want whale? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, why are you we'll putting that there? Where's the cheese? It worked for a while, but that initial curiosity soon waned into disinterest, and Zima officially bit the dust in the United States in 2008. The brand did enjoy a brief revival in 2017, and it never went away in Japan. What is it? Zima. Beer? No, something different. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Original Four Loco It wasn't called Blackout in a Can for nothing. Combining an energy drink with malt alcohol, the Original Four Loco was introduced in 2005 and attained popularity within just a few years. Four Loco is a potent combination of alcohol and caffeine, a fruity flavored drink popular on college campuses. Some call it blackout in a can. The alcohol content ranged all the way from 6% to 14%. After a series of blackouts and injuries in colleges, Four Loco came under fire in 2010 and ended up facing bans in several states. And with an alcohol content of 12%, it's the equivalent of five or six beers in just one drink. This was the death knell for the original Four Loco. A reformulated version was launched without caffeine, guarana, and taurine, and it's no longer marketed as an energy drink. Hours before the FDA is expected to call their product unsafe, the maker of Four Loco announced it's taking caffeine out of the popular energy drink. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.